ears haven't seen and ears haven't heard the kind of blessing that's about to fall on me. And I'm going to try the second verse here. Victory is here. Put the feet out the door. God's doing a new thing. Get ready for overflow. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. Eye has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. I'm so thankful to God because this is the word that I had received. I woke up in the morning and I just opened my eyes. And this is what I got, that the best is yet to come. Can you say with me? The best is yet to come. Hallelujah. And he just spoke about Job and his experience. And Job went through all of that to the point where the best came to him, right? The best is yet to come. So that's the message, that's the word of God to this house, that the best is yet to come. It doesn't matter what it looks like, but you're going to be moving in to greater because the best is yet to come. And then the song that was in my heart um, was from, it's from Tasha Cobbs, and I don't even really know it that great, but I'm going to sing a little, too, little of it for you. It says, eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard, the kind of blessing, blessing that is about to fall on me. Eyes haven't seen, and ears haven't heard. The kind of blessing that's about to fall on me. And I'm going to try the second verse here. Victory is here. Put the feet out the door. God's doing a new thing. Get ready for overflow. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. Victory is here. Put the feet out the door. God's doing a new thing. Get ready for overflow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isn't that a beautiful song? And that's what God has to say to you. Those that are here, you're here to hear that message. That God is doing a new thing. Get ready for overflow. Hallelujah. Because the best, come on, say it with me. The best is yet to come. Hallelujah. So that's the word for this church in the word ministry. That the best is yet to come. And it's amazing because as I was having this conversation with our evangelist senior, and she was talking about her experiences, and I was thinking about this to myself. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 9. I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. 1 Corinthians 2, 9. Amen.